Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super easy Halloween themed cake. So let's get started. Alright, to get started you're going to need two 8 inch cakes. I like to bake my cakes like a day or so in advance and I freeze them. Overnight, I wrap them in clear wrap so they're nice and airtight. When they're frozen or super chilled, it makes them a lot easier to work with. Then you're gonna fill them with buttercream or an icing of your choice. Buttercream holds up much easier for these kind of decorative cakes. You're gonna stack them, layer the middle, and then just you're gonna go around and do your crumb coat. Crumb coat is just a thin coat to trap in all the crumbs, and then you're gonna pop this in the freezer again just for about 10 minutes until the crumb coat gets nice and firm. Alright, so I just got my cake out of the freezer. I had it sitting in there for about 10 minutes just to let the crumb coat set. This is the final coat, so I'm using, you wanna use a lot of icing on this part because you're gonna go around with your bench scraper and scrape the majority of it off to give you that nice clean finish. So don't be afraid to add a lot of icing on this part. It makes it much more easier to work with. Now once both of your tiers are completely iced and chilled, you definitely want to chill them for about 15 minutes in the freezer after you ice them so they will be easy to handle. Once you do that step, then put your wooden dowels in and then you can go ahead and grab your second tier and stack it right on top. After you stack them, just go around and pipe a border of your choice. I'm just doing a simple pearl border. My eight year old recorded this, so. I do apologize. So now you're going to want to take some red gel food coloring, mix it with some clear extract of your choice until you get like a watery consistency, and then just use a paintbrush and make some splatter marks and just have fun with it. Now I did put a sheet of parchment paper under my cake and behind my cake because this dye is extremely stout and my finger will probably be dyed red for a good two weeks. So you're going to want to layer something under your cake and behind your cake during this part. And there you go. Super easy Halloween cake. I feel like any beginners that are interested in making cakes should definitely give this cake a swing for Halloween. It is super easy and almost impossible to mess up. Stay tuned for next week. I'm going to be making the famous unicorn cake, but it's going to have a Halloween spin on it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.